Hey guys, it's me, Mia. Welcome back to my channel. So in my last video, I did a bulk review, and today I'm going to do another bulk review. And I just had to because I received this book in the mail yesterday, and I looked through it, and I think it's great, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. So we're going to do a flip through, and I'll give my opinions on the book. But this is called Hello Watercolor by Jeannie Dixon. And this is Jeannie right here. She has an Instagram account, Jeannie Dixon Designs, where she is known for her modern watercolor techniques and unique lettering style. So let's get started. This is beautiful. book is dedicated to her family, acknowledgments, table of contents, and there's five chapters, and we'll see those soon. Skills to build before you start. Observations, sketching, precision, and doodling, and just keep practicing. I love this spread right here, so nice. Supplies, supplies, supplies. When I was about six years old, my family entered our local department store and I exclaimed, I want everything. That is still the case when it comes to art supplies. Same here. Okay, so this section is on paper, different types of paper. Brushes, parts of the brush hair types, shapes, how to care for your brushes, um, paint, grades, permanents, using gouache paint on black paper, and she says here that she uses gouache along with the, with the watercolor paint. Gouache is pretty much opaque watercolor, and I've used both too. Properties of watercolor, transparency and opacity. And this is a nice exercise that she recommends using a permanent marker to test the transparency and opacity of the watercolor paints. Palettes. And this is her workspace right here. I like looking at other people's workspaces. Getting to know hue. So this section is about color. Color Theory 101. And I just love how vivid the colors are in this book. Color wheel. Warm and cold primaries. This is cool. Creating your own color wheel. Three properties of color. Hue, value, and saturation. favorite paint consistencies, as well as color harmony. Okay, fundamentals of watercolor painting. <clears throat> Excuse me. Water control. Adjusting how much water to add to your paint to get different results. Brush work, precision exercises, my color washes, this is showing wet on wet wash, and more fun techniques. Everything that she's showing you now is very important because you're going to use these same techniques later in the book for the projects.
Fresh Lettering Basics. Strokes, eight basic strokes. And here's a practice alphabet right here. Here we are with the step-by-step -step projects, and these are so awesome, I can't wait to try these. This one, I'm looking forward to doing sparkling shards, and she gives you step-by-step -step instructions as well as the color palette you can use. Origami critters. Galaxy Rainbow Unicorn. Now these colors here are pretty. They remind me of Prima Marketing Tropicals. Zebra Succulent. I think this would be an easy one to start out with if you're new to watercolors. That's just my opinion. Would like to try this. Hydrangea. I think that's how you pronounce it. I could be wrong. Oh, this is so pretty. Whimsical fish. I love fish. Fabulous feathers. And I like how she painted her feathers. Pomegranates and Blossoms. Fall Leaves. State Pattern Play. Monochromatic Moon. Art. Goals! Okay. Painting loose style florals. And I love these bright tropical colors. Monogram. And it looks like she's using metallic watercolors here. Okay, and here are the templates that you can use for the projects. Color recipes. And these are some of the color mixtures that she uses. So you have colors in this column and in this row. So that's the color you get. watercolor all year long. I thought this was awesome. I was so excited when I saw this because I see it as a challenge. But there's something for February, March, January. So it's June. Tropical leaves. So is this week three in June? Or is it week two? I don't know. But June, tropical leaves. And this is a challenge that she's presenting. And share and connect so she has tips on listing or well, posting your artwork on social media hashtags to use and the index so there you have it you guys and so Jeannie she did go to school for art I believe yeah you know, she studied graphic design and she's a self-taught watercolor artist and I just want to say that I'm also a self-taught watercolor artist, but I learned how to use watercolor the hard way, pretty much just 
practicing and trying to figure things out on my own, books like this weren't out when I was learning how to use watercolor. There were watercolor instruction books, but it was the books were in a style that I didn't find appealing or exciting. This book is appealing, this book is exciting, and it is fun. It's modern day watercolor, and I wish this book was around when I was learning how to watercolor paint because it would have made the whole learning process less frustrating for me and more fun. So this book is awesome. I think it's great and I recommend it and I'm looking forward to doing her challenges back here. So yeah, if you guys get the book, let me know what you think of it and I'm going to go back to recording my other videos. Take care guys.